Hello everyone! In our last video, we created an environment and added modules there successfully. If you haven't watched that video, please check it out. Link in the description. Today we are going to work on the sale module. And we will talk about leads, account, and contact in Dynamics 365. First of all, you need to navigate to portal, office.com or you can directly navigate to make.powerapps.com. As you can see here, there are lots of modules inside our environment, which we created in the last video. Let's get started with the sales hub. As you can see here, there are lots of entities. What are entities? An entity is a distinct data set or a group of records. Today we will only discuss lead, account, and contact. Let's get started with lead. A lead is a prospect. It can be a potential customer or a potential sale. To create a lead, click on lead. Then click on the new button. Here it is asking for some important data like a topic, first name, last name, lead type, email phone number, and many more. Fill in the required details and click on save. After creating a lead, as you see, there are many tabs like details, file, and related. All the tabs contain important data about the lead. We will see a brief video about the same. It's only the introduction part. Now let's talk about the account. An account is an organization that includes customers, vendors, partners, and many others. To create an account, click on the account, then click on the new button. Here it asks for some important details like account name, phone number, website, email, and address. Fill in all the required details. There are also many tabs, like project price list, location, and file. All tabs contain important data related to the same. You can manually check them. Let's talk about contact. Contact is an individual record. It could be associated with a maximum of one account. To create a contact, click on contact, then the new button. Fill in the required details like first name, last name, email, phone number, and address. We will see all the details about all these entities in our next videos. In our next video, we will talk about the lead life cycle. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.